Hi guys, I'm Emily Sedona. Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from a two month long car camping trip kind of across the US. And of course, we all know I'm addicted to thrifting. So I got a couple questions and requests to do like a big thrift haul. Let's jump right into it. This is the pile we are working with. We are in the midst of setting up the tree for Christmas at my mom's house. So I will be here for the next two months, kind of hanging out until I head to the desert in January. And this is Banks. She's making a little appearance in my video. Figured we'd do a little intro. Okay, so I'm actually wearing a pair of denim that I got. They're Western. Um, I think the brand is Shelves. I'm really into this like Western, no pocket on the butt style, tiny waist. They're really long, but I just roll them up. But this is like a really big denim trip for me for some reason. So I also got these Lee jeans. They're kind of dirty, <laughs> but they fit really, really well. This was kind of like a big thrift deal. Uh, it's like a cowgirl Western jacket. Show you the details. Look at that. I love that sound. <laughs> this kind of grandma sweater. It's got like a serious shoulder pad moment, but I really love that. And I plan on wearing this at Christmas time with these incredible cream real leather pants. They have this awesome kind of like asymmetrical button which I found was really, really interesting. Uh, the brand is Cash. Uh, they fit like a glove, which is funny because they actually fit my mom like a glove too. So when we were in Nashville, she borrowed these. They have like a boot cut flare at the bottom, but what I'm really into is they actually have a seam halfway up the leg. They kind of remind me, I don't know if you remember, but Britney Spears did this like white pleather slash vinyl outfit with like a pink top. I'll see if I can find it. Okay, so now that I'm looking at this, they are not the same at all, but I totally understand how I mix that up, but you kind of get the point. But that's what these remind me of, so living out my childhood dreams. I've worn this vest a couple times on TikTok. Uh, it's really, really cute. It's Heirloom Collectibles is the brand. It has this really pretty, like, embroidery detail on it, and it looks really cute with, like, a little black turtleneck underneath and just kind of open. I love it. These were my favorite find of like the whole trip and I've talked about them a million times. I thrifted these vintage Rocky jeans. They're so good. Again, the Western style. So the butt does not have any pockets. Um, I love the patch. They're boot cut, they're long. So I roll them up, but they just look so flattering. Like they hug your waist and then they let your booty peek out. So. I love these. I literally, it was like, it made my day to find these. Something that I didn't really talk about was my trip was a lot colder than I was anticipating. So I ended up wanting a wool sweater. So I bought a couple wool sweaters along the way. This was one of them. Kind of fun, just a little button up, really cool fabric. Uh, the only thing that I didn't take into account was that Yeti like loves the smell of wool. So actually he got a hold of this in the back when I wasn't paying attention and now there's like little holes, but still wearable, really cute. Kind of like grandma granola core, which I'm definitely into. This is another really good one. I wore it in one of my Instagram pictures, but I'm really into wearing like men's button up as like dresses. I wear little shorts underneath, but I paired this with my white cowgirl boots. It's a little bit wrinkled cause I still need to unpack my car, but Look at that fabric. And it's like soft too. It's not like dress shirt material. But for reference, this is this brand is Grant. And I think it's a men's size XL. Cute. Okay. I know I said the Rockies were my favorite, but I would like to withdraw that statement. I think that this is one of my favorites. Again, a little wrinkled. I got this in a little thrift store at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri, which is beautiful. You should definitely go to Lake of the Ozarks if you can. But I thrifted this vintage Wrangler rodeo shirt. It's like from the 80s or 90s. Um, it was $15. So exciting. I really love it. Like playing out my cowgirl dreams. 
you know? And you just like layer it on top of like anything. So I also styled this on Instagram, but I styled it without clothes, so cute. These are Columbia. They're like boot cut. They have a little utility pocket. They make my butt look so good. I call them the shaggy pants. They're just like really flattering. These are hit or miss. I love these. My family did not love these when I showed them. So they're kind of like ruched pants. I think they're vintage. They don't have a tag, but they feel like that, I don't know, 90s material. But yeah, it's like, it's almost like crepe paper. Isn't that interesting? This is probably the least cool thing I got, but I got it for comfort. Oh no, I could have sworn I had a shirt around here. Just kidding. But yeah, I bought it for comfort or to wear like in an ironic way. Like I love hot girls that wear like this and the low buns and the beanies, except I look awful in hats, in beanies. So another little fun find are these, I think it's Zubas. <gasps> They're like pajama sweatpants. Somebody, I did my research. I think they're from like the 80s, right? But look at that pattern. I saw it and I was like, animal print, I'll take it. So this was not a thrift. This is from a vintage shop. It's called Valley Girls Vintage on Instagram. And I actually met her. She recognized me from TikTok in the elevator, but I met her at the Dolly Parton restaurant when I was with my mom. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love your outfit. Cause she had a really cute outfit. She had like a penny lane coat on. And she was like, I recognize you from TikTok. Anyway, so I found this incredible shirt at her pop-up. Again, wore it and styled it on Instagram. Um, it's vintage, I think it's from the 60s, not really sure. Um, but it is just like, like this pattern is like something I've never seen before. Like if I ever find another shirt like this, I will definitely buy it. So it's button up. And then the sleeves are interesting too. The sleeves, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like, they're tight at the wrist, but they bell out. Oh, I, I'm obsessed with this shirt. It's so, so cute. And I really like to wear it with my Rockies and then tie it. So leave it unbuttoned and then tie it oh, to die for. This was the last thing I bought. It's a two piece set and it didn't fit me. So I got it for my sister. So let's start with the fabric. It's that 90s, early 2000s, like shimmer kind of itchy fabric. The brand is Fragile. And so it's got this like kind of like long skirt with the big slit in the side. So cute. And then that matches, it's like a skin tight top with bell sleeves. Like, are you serious? I gave this to her when I got home and she put it on, looked incredible on her, like made for her. And then I was like, wait a second, I have an accessory. So I figured she would wear, I think she's gonna wear it for New Year, but I gave her this belt. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's gonna be so good. I'm a genius. This is my last item. It wasn't thrifted on this trip, but it was thrifted before and she needs her own moment. So, this is a vintage Afghan coat from the 70s that I got off of Miles to Magnolia on Instagram. Mm. It's giving Penny Lane. Oh. Dream Penny Lane coat. Look at the embroidery on the back. Look at the hood. It's so cute. So the funny thing about this coat is I ordered it, I pulled, I don't even wanna say how much I paid for it. I ordered it and I waited for it for like almost a month and it finally came and when I opened it, it literally smelled like someone's grandma had died in it. So I thought quick on my feet, I Googled and I found out, I found pantyhose and like cut them, filled them with coffee beans, put them in all the pockets, the arms, the coat, like everywhere, and then put them in a paper bag and like tied the paper bag up for like a week and then I had to leave on my trip because my hope was to wear this coat on my trip. And so anyway, a week goes by, I open the coat, still smells like it's it, somebody died in it. So anyway, my mom left it outside like my whole trip, so like almost two months. And so it still faintly smells like dead grandma, 
but it's like manageable, but it is definitely my most favorite thing that I own. Anyway, those are all my thrift things and my thrift finds that I found on this trip. I hope you loved it. Little fun video, not my normal content, but what is normal? That's the other thing that I wanted to touch on. Not all of my content is going to be car related. I'm just vlogging my life, baby. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just living. Uh, I don't really like to fit into any boxes or like put a label on myself. So I don't just want to be like a car traveling, car camping vlogger. So anyway, just follow along with my fun little life. Anyway, I'm going to go get some Botox. I love you. See you next time.